My first memory of Beverly, she was a feisty little thing on tennis court. Uh, she was a competitor, uh, probably didn't have as much ability as some of the other players that she was playing with, but she had incredible coaches in the Chicago area, including her dad, Roland Yeager, uh, Rod Schroeder. They developed her dad into a, a feisty, good, strong, competitive tennis player. I have had the pleasure of watching her grow back in Northbrook, Illinois, when her dad, Mickey Bowes, and I used to teach part-time in the uh, Northbrook Racquet Club. I watched Beverly develop into a great tennis player on the 10 and under, 12 and under, 14 and under, and having played with uh, people, players like uh, Andrew Yeager and Susie Yeager. Uh, competitively, uh, I have seen her uh, not only develop in the junior program, but also in the adult program. I had the pleasure to run into Beverly again uh, when she was teaching at the uh, Chrissy Everett Academy. While working at the Chrissy Everett Academy, I saw Beverly coaching incredible players that even develop into world-class players and also uh, Olympic champions such as uh, Bethany Maddock. When uh, Beverly left Boca Raton, moved here to Texas, I had the opportunity to watch her coach at SMU and later came to coach at University of Texas. When I was looking for a director of women's tennis at the uh, Grand Rock Tennis Club, she came and worked for me for two years. She did an incredible job. Uh, I saw her develop into just a great coach again, dealing with women, dealing with juniors, and her own children. My favorite memory of uh, Beverly, when she hits that forehand, and she did it many times in my clinics, and showing people how to hit the forehand, she used to say, that forehand is about both my house. And she was always respected by the quality of her forehand drive that she had on the tennis court. Beverly is special because of the passion and the love that she gets for the game of tennis. It is not just a game, it is a sport of a lifetime. Beverly in Texas has touched not only the players at UT, which is still uh, very active with the University of Texas team, but also touching people's lives in the club level, in the junior level. Uh, when she goes on the tennis court, she just gives it everything she's got. She gives 110% feeding, talking, admiring the people, giving positive comments. I have never seen Beverly talk bad about anybody. I never talked negative about a, a stroke. It's always been the positivism that she brings on the tennis court that makes her so good. When Beverly walks on the tennis court, either competitive or teaching, she's not only giving back to the game, She's not only thinking about being competitive in WTA, in the world, team, world tennis, uh, women's tennis, not only in the many times she's coached young kids right now attending so many of the national tournaments. She's thinking, I want to make an impact on your life today so you can remember me as a fun tennis coach and a friend. Beverly, it is an honor to know you and I'm so proud of you of becoming part of the Texas Tennis Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Beverly.